Hello again, viewers of Twill Plays, the gaming channel that doesn't game terribly often. In all honesty, I haven't had any time to game over the last couple of months now, and that's been horribly unfortunate. I keep saying that I'm going to get back into it soon, but we're just going to have to see what happens. I've been off and on sick and traveling over the last month, so it's been kind of a weird time. However, as expected, and on time, I am back at you with another Loot Crate unboxing. This showed up yesterday evening and I was not around again. So I'm going to go ahead and open it for you today. Go ahead and cut the tape again just because it's it's easier. Don't have to do it on camera. So let's see what we've got. We have, as usual, the new usual at least, the Survive, all the looter intel that's fit to print. This month's theme is Survive, of course, has to do with uh, Halloween and scary stuff and apparently zombies, which that's awesome. I'm a big fan of zombie stuff. And from the very beginning, I can see zombie stuff on a t-shirt and I'm very excited about that. So let's see what we got. All right, I'm liking the color. E Walking Dead. That is awesome. And it is the right size? Yeah, close enough. Uh, my t-shirt size has changed pretty drastically over the last year, so large will still fit, but only barely. Uh, I may have to actually update it, but yeah. Uh, one way or another, this should fit pretty decently. What else do we have in here? We've got some pins. I can stick those on some backpacks. It looks like they are 8-bit. Uh, one is a zombie hand, one of them is a health pack, and one of them is a, a bow and arrow. I'll have to see what those actually refer to in a minute. We have some artificial grape-flavored jelly-filled marshmallow candy, which looks oh so tasty. I'll try that here in a minute as well. Some temporary tattoos. Awesome. And I love your guts greeting card. Your brains are all nice too. That's funny. Not sure the wife would take well to that because she just doesn't do zombie stuff. So don't know who I would give that to, if anybody. We've also got a graphic lab cure for the common tea coupon code. Purchase $15 or more, get $5 off at graphiclabtees.com. Uh, this t-shirt and I believe the, um, the caffeine one I got a couple of months back, those are both uh, graphic lab shirts, so I will definitely be taking a look at that. Still haven't used the Woot shirt coupon, so I'm gonna have to use that as well. We got a zombie hunter identification card, it looks like. It says Loot Crate Zombie Hunter, so. That's interesting. LC 1337, gun and rifle training, close combat training, license grade, temporary tattoos, as I mentioned. Oh, no. Yes. Max Brooks, the zombie survival guide. Uh, the same guy who wrote World War Z. This is his, his epitome, his tome of, uh, of what you should do in the zombie apocalypse. This is a book that I've been meaning to purchase for many, many years and just never actually got around to picking up a copy. So that is awesome. Honestly, these two items together more than make up for the cost of the box in my opinion, because if you consider this shirt being $10, if it were, and the book being $10, that covers the price of the box. And I'm paying for the six month subscription, so I'm not even paying $20 for the box at this point. The other stuff that comes along with it, you know, it's stuff, it's not gonna be amazing, but getting $5 off at Graphic Tees, a little bit of candy and some extra swag. Yeah, I am extraordinarily pleased with this book. Definitely gonna be reading more into this book, learning a little bit more about what I should do in case of a zombie apocalypse, or at least what Max Brooks thinks we should do in the case of the zombie apocalypse. And of course, I'm sure my coworkers will be ready to take a look at this t-shirt because they, they all seem to, to enjoy fun t-shirts. And I know the viewers of my other videos like the, uh, the, the fun t-shirts that I end up with. So yeah, that's gonna be about all. I guess you guys probably wanna see me eat the candy or see what it tastes like at least. So let me go ahead and give that a shot. There we go. It's a big old marshmallow in the shape of an eye. Doesn't actually have anything on it. Grape flavored, jelly filled marshmallow candy. Mm. It kinda tastes like a marshmallow with jelly filling, with uh, grape jelly. It's interesting. I don't know if it's something I would buy, and I kind of wish it had caloric information on it, but we deal with it. But yeah, that's going to be about all from me for today. If you have not already, check out some of my previous Loot Crate videos. I've been increasingly pleased with it. Every month it just gets a little better, a little better. I am a huge zombie aficionado, so this month was extremely appropriate for me, and I, I am so pleased with the way this box turned out. If you're interested in checking out Loot Crate for yourself, I'll have a link to my referral thing down in the in the video description, so you can sign up and I get a little this much back on my next box so I can continue to, to actually get these loot crates to show you guys every month. And if not, that's fine too. But that's gonna be about all from me for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll, 
I'm not gonna promise I'll be back with gaming tomorrow or anything, but I'm gonna keep trying. I'm gonna keep trying to find the time to actually do it. And it's tough. Thanks so much for watching again, though, guys. I'll see you next time.